Hey everybody, in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can uh, download some free content from the marketplace and then export that content into your Unreal project or whatever game engine or CG software you're using. So if you want to follow along, come to the uh, cd.religion.com slash marketplace.aspx URL here at the top. And then uh, we're going to be dealing with 3D content, so I'll just go ahead and select my 3D content. And you can see uh, our marketplace pops up. We have all the uh, banner promotions up here that you can uh, scroll through. We have our Reillusion Select section, which contains uh, most of our best and newest content, as well as the top paid and top free, and what's new content you can find uh, down here as well. And then we have a bunch of theme stores on the left-hand side, uh, which are maintained by our marketplace managers. And there's a featured freebie uh, for all you freebie lovers. I know everyone loves freebies. And then you can also select more freebies, and that'll take you to a freebie page as well. And you can also search by category up here if you want to, if you'd prefer to shop that way, or you can just search for uh, keywords. So let's take a look at one of these products, for example. I'm going to take a look at this Temple uh, by Sinister Games, one of our developers, uh, Sinister Games. You can see this is repurposed by one of our marketplace managers, Ali. And you can see that there are two separate prices here. We have a price for eye content and a price for export license. Now, the differences in these prices will be normally about 30% less for the eye content price. And the reason for that is because eye content license only allows you to use your content within iClone. It's DRM protected, so you will not be able to export it via 3D Exchange to external software. It doesn't have that license. The export license allows you to export to uh, industry standard formats if you have a 3D Exchange, and you can use that in your Unity projects or Unreal projects or what have you. So I just wanted to mention that as well. Uh, now these are in DA points. Keep in mind, these are not US dollars. Uh, one DA point, or rather 100 DA points is about equal to one US dollar. So this is about $12 and $15 for the respective uh, licenses. And then you can uh, you know, look down here for more thumbnails and videos in certain cases. If you want to add this to your wish list for later on, you can do that by just going here and selecting add to wish list. And then we can also add this to our cart as well. And once we add it to our cart, we can select uh, checkout and go to our checkout. And here is where you choose the uh, content license. You can choose the I content license, or you can choose the export license as well. Now, um, I'm just going to remove this right now because we're not going to purchase this item at this at this moment. We're going to deal with that in our upgrade tutorial, which is uh, another part of this tutorial series. Uh, we can go to trial download list, and we don't have anything here. I'll talk more about that later. And uh, we have our wish list. Now I added it to the wish list, as you can see right here as well. You can remove it from your wish list. And then we have the inventory. Now the inventory is stuff that you've downloaded. And the inventory also includes the, the type of license that you have. You can see we have export license. Uh, and this one doesn't have an export license. Uh, and this one doesn't either. So keep in mind that you can also upgrade to the export license here by selecting your item, uh, selecting download now. If, you, if you've accidentally deleted it, you can download it again or you can select it and upgrade to your export license, which we'll talk more about in the other tutorial. Now, in addition, if you wanna learn more about the export license, you can just go to like any product page. I'll go back a few steps here. I uh, like this product page and it has the question mark at the back here. You can just select that and that'll take you to our uh, export license page. Um, it'll talk to you all about your royalty free guarantee, content EULA and all that fun stuff. So we'll just close that down for now. And there's also a section of our marketplace as well that uh, deals exclusively with export license content. You can go up here and you can select the 3DX portal and that will take you to the section of our marketplace that only deals with, uh, only has export license content. So let's just uh, close that down right now. And I'm going to search for an item uh, that's actually a freebie called Menacing Orc. And uh, this is a free item like I mentioned before. So we have this Menacing Orc dude right here. You can see it's zero DA points. Now we have the option to add this to our trial download list, which we can just do right now. And it'll say add to your list and we'll just add it to our uh, shopping cart as well and you can go check out so let's go ahead and uh, check this out and again the i content license and the export license are exactly the same so we're just going to keep that the way it is for now i'm going to select this one and remove it uh, from my list right now we're not going to purchase that at the moment uh, what you can do right now is just go to my uh, trial download list which is also where i have this menacing orc and uh, I can just select the Menacing Orc right here, and then I can download it now. Or you can also uh, continue shopping or remove it and all the other options as well. Let's go ahead and download this now. Now, I've already downloaded this previously uh, as an export license, so th this uh, notification will come up. Don't worry, most of the time you won't get this notification it's the if it's the first time that you're downloading this product. So let's just select OK. 
And it says you've selected one item, you can download uh, one item. You can download nine more items today. So there's 10 items that you can download within a 24 hour period uh, for trial items. And that'll be your limit. And then you have to wait another 24 hours. So let's go ahead and press OK. And it'll bring up this uh, install content uh, you know, file or it'll download to your download folder. You can simply select that uh, file right there and it'll open up the Relusion content downloader. And then you go through the uh, process of uh, you know just downloading it and the content will download. Now keep in mind that if, if I was downloading trial content, which I am doing right now, um, if I had a trial content item, it'll show up with a watermark on the screen when I import it into iClone. And you, you, you can export it, but you probably wouldn't want to with all the iClone watermarks all over the screen. So we'll just uh, rename this file since we already have it downloaded, like I mentioned, I've already downloaded the export uh, content so let's uh, just press OK and that'll rename that file. And then you can click here and you can find the file in your Explorer. You can see I've downloaded it a couple times. The Menacing Orc 1, this will be our trial content. And then this Menacing Orc 0, this will be uh, the original export license um, that I purchased. Now, again, if you want to, um, I'll just close that, complete this here. Now, if you're in your shopping cart, you can do the same procedure by just going to, uh, you know, export license here. And then it'll show an export license in parentheses and then just proceeding to checkout, and it'll essentially have the same uh, downloading process right there. Uh, let's just uh, go over into icon here and take a look at our uh, items here. Now let's just uh, expand this content window a little bit. Now, if you downloaded an avatar, it'll go to your uh, avatar folder right here, uh, actor folder rather, actor tab, and go to your avatar uh, folder. And then we go a little bit further down, we can find our menacing orc. And this menacing orc one, if I double click on this guy right here, That'll add them to my scene. Now I've already purchased the export license like I mentioned uh, previous, but if I did not purchase that export license, it would have like icon watermarks all across the screen whenever I added a trial download item. So keep that in mind, you know, trial download, obviously you're gonna have those watermarks uh, when you import your character. Now if I wanna take this character and import him into my Unreal project, the first thing I have to do is go to uh, Modify, and you can just simply go Edit in 3D Exchange. And what that'll do is that'll load up this Menacing Orc character in my 3D Exchange. Here we go. And uh, once he's in the 3D Exchange, you'll have a couple of uh, things that you wanna note, uh, first of all. Uh, note, first of all, on the left, that my text, or this, the text on the scene tree, the words on the scene tree are in black uh, color. If these were pink, that would mean I don't have an export license. So if you're like downloading content or trying to export it and you see pink showing up here, that means you don't have the i content or you don't have the export license for that content and you just upgrade to the i content license. Now you can do that by going up here. There's the, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, buy i content license here. Uh, if you have trial content or this allows you to buy the export license. And here, if you've you know gone into your browser and uh, upgraded your license already, you can just refresh your license and this uh, button here takes you to our 3DX portal. If I select that, that'll load it up. And you can see that all of the content here, this is all export ready content. You can uh, do trial download on all of this content here. Most of it is from Reillusion uh, in this 3DX portal. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, you can find a whole, tons of, a whole ton of uh, options for items here as well though. Uh, let's just go back into 3D Exchange and get to work on exporting this guy. So we don't really need to mess around with this guy too much. In this tutorial, we're just gonna do a simple export. So let's go over here and export him to FBX format. And we're gonna call him, uh, you know, Menacing Orc, keep his original name. We want to include the geometry, obviously. And we're gonna be exporting to Unreal. So let's change our target tool preset to Game Engine Unreal. And then I'm gonna just save it to my desktop. And I'll just press OK. And that'll take a couple seconds to export this character along with his mesh. And I exported that to my desktop. So let's go down to my desktop here. And you can see we have my menacing orc.fbx file right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag that into my Unreal project, which I already have open as well. We'll drop it to our content folder. And uh, for the FBX export options, nothing too complicated here. Um, if you're importing a character with uh, blend shapes on the face, you wanna make sure that you import morph targets right here. That's uh, you know one thing to keep in mind if you're a character has facial animation and blend shapes like uh, Mason or whoever, for example, you wanna make sure that you import the morph targets, also import the animations. But this guy's a very simple import. Let's just go ahead and select import all. And uh, that'll import our menacing orc, uh, the FBX mesh, along with all of the materials as well. 
Now uh, we will have a notification that comes up here with, uh, you know, there's um, the bones are not vert weighted. Don't worry about this for now. That gets a little bit technical. So we'll just close down this uh, message log right here. And you can see it's compiling the shaders uh, in the bottom right, um, you know, for, for the character. Uh, with Unreal, it's kind of cool. You can just, uh, you know, import in. You can see, whoops, we have the uh, menacing orc skeletal mesh right here. If I want to just import that guy in really quickly, you'll see that we can uh, preview him right here. And let's just... Uh, Zoom in a little bit. The controls are a little bit different from Icon. And uh, you can see here that we just have the mesh and the shaders are compiling. So I'll just wait for a minute for that to compile. We can go back to the desktop as well. And you can see that it'll create a menacing orc.fbm uh, folder as well. If you want to you know, manually um, use these uh, textures and everything like that, you can find all the normal maps and the diffuse maps and in certain cases, uh, specular maps. Or whatever if you export to fbx it'll um, often have a uh, folder like this uh, with the dot fbm uh, suffix there and that will contain all the materials for your character all right so our shaders in unreal should be uh, pretty much finished by now let's go and check it out and there you can see we have our menacing orc character just uh, hanging out you, know, you can add a point light in there to uh, get a look at the, uh, the character and all his uh, specular beauty uh, anyways, that's about it. So uh, I just want to show you the quickest possible way to, you know, um, import the free content in from uh, uh, the marketplace. As well, if we go back to our browser, you know, we have the option. We also have the content store as well. Now, the marketplace is essentially focused on uh, the newest uh, content. And let's just go back to uh, iClone here. You can also select this top menu here to go to your iClone. The marketplace is focused normally on individual items uh, and uh, the newest stuff will come out in the marketplace right away. And the content store, we're focused on a lot on bundles, uh, larger bundles, a lot on uh, you know special deals with bundles and, and reillusion content. And the content store, you use uh, actual money, so you can use your Visa card or whatever to, uh, to purchase items. Whereas again, in the marketplace, you're using uh, the DA points uh, you can see here. So you need to purchase DA points first um, before you download everything. And in the content store, we have a cool section for featured developers right here, the Elite League Collections. And this is where we have a lot of content from a lot of our uh, featured developers, um, such as Decksoft and uh, all sorts of different um, content packs. And you can purchase iContent and uh, export license uh, content from this uh, content store as well. So, you know, we have um, developers like Vertigo Games here as well, and uh, just a bunch of different... Uh, types of cool content that you can uh, check out on your own time. We'll, we'll talk more about that in our upgrade tutorial. Uh, but that's about it for now. I just wanted to show you guys a quick, really quick procedure to import in your characters, uh, freebie characters from the marketplace into your uh, game or CG projects. So thanks for watching and make sure you check out our other tutorials as well.